Welcome back to Defense Team News. I'm Shelly Van Hoof. And I'm Lieutenant Jeff Lura. Here are the headlines at Defense. Soldiers from Mike Company of the 3rd Battalion of the Royal Canadian Regiment competed in the Kosovo Security Force Best Soldier Competition at the end of April. The competition was a grueling test of mental and physical toughness as small teams of troops from allied countries completed a mix of physical exertion activities and soldier skills. Leading up to the competition, we spoke with Private Peter Romanko to learn more. The actual competition is broken down into uh, 48 hours of a lot of basic soldier skills to assess uh, each person on through their own individual abilities, such as we do an obstacle course, and there's another shoot there as well, another first aid stand, and a whole bunch of variety of uh, just new basic soldier skills. Uh, this is my first time working with um, European NATO countries. We've done a couple exercises in the past with the Americans, but it'll be our first time in this kind of a competitive atmosphere. New Leopard 2 Armored Engineer Vehicles will be used in the field for the first time on this year's Exercise Maple Resolve later this month. As part of the Force Mobility Enhancement Project, the Canadian Army began receiving 18 of these new and improved vehicles late last fall. They will provide critical support to the Army's Leopard 2 main battle tanks, light armored vehicles, tactical armored patrol vehicles, and future fleets. The delivery of these vehicles also supports the long-term investment in the Canadian Army as outlined in Canada's defence policy, Strong, Secure, Engaged. Before we go, please note the Public Service Performance Management web application is now available in electronic format for civilian employees, managers and military managers. Stay tuned for help with registration and training using the web application in an upcoming episode. That's it for us. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time for Defence Team News.